Well, gone are the days of appointment television. Oh, you know, I still remember crowding around the, the TV with all the yeah. family watching the Cosby Show. Yeah. A different world, still my, oh my favorite. God. Family Matters, even. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. that was a good one, right? <laughs> That's funny. Like old time <laughs> memories. Sorry, Andrew, we're just reminiscing here while you're here. <laughs> you don't mind. Well, you know, now new technology is allowing us to watch on the go. Mm. Is this good? Is this bad? Arise, Andrew Schmertz is here, our legal eagle, our business hero, and he's going to talk to us about what's happening on television. No more appointment television. What happened? No, and can I just say, by the way, almost every time I come here, there's alcohol involved. Uh, <laughs> that, that's the Thankfully, one that, the show is in the afternoon. <laughs> yes. This is a good business. I <laughs> am sure. I will, I will take one home with Okay, you. Thank there you, you go. <laughs> well, you know, it's called cutting the cord, and media companies, especially cable companies and traditional broadcasters, are in a downright panic over it. Imagine if you can watch everything you want to watch without having to pay for cable. In fact, those under 30, according to new surveys, are likely not to have a cable television at all, but still get all the content they want through internet-based devices. Nielsen, the TV rating service, calls this group zero TV households. And it's a growing trend with an estimated 5 million households now off the cable grid. Netflix became one of the first players to help people cut the cord by offering shows on demand through the Internet. In 2008, this became so popular that its streaming services now overshadow its older DVD mail services. Another company, Roku, allows customers to connect their TV directly to the Internet. This service costs $100, just a one-time fee, and then you pay per premium channel you want to add. So viewers are no longer restricted to watching Internet TV on their computers or mobile devices. Now they can watch them where we all like to watch TV on our couch. And the one obstacle that has stymied some of the growth is about to fall. Up until now, it was difficult to get local television stations and live news and sports events. But Barry Diller's new company, Aereo, has solved that, through, though at some legal costs. Aereo uses regular antennas. Remember antennas? Mm -hmm. To pick old up old school. Old school. The little antenna? rabbit, the little rabbit ah. things. Uh, <laughs> you use a coat hanger to sometimes oh, jet rig it. Remember, remember the coat, coat hanger? Oh. Add well, some aluminum foil to it. Yeah, you aluminum. Can get real good stations. <laughs> 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 Oil. You took it back, here's, Shannon. Here, here, that's, here's how it works. They get the signals off an antenna, and then they stream it to you over the Internet. Uh -huh. And that service is as little as $10 a month. Aerial plans to expand to 21 markets this summer. However, that has caused some lawsuits from broadcasters claiming they should be compensated for providing their signals. By the way, this is the same argument they had with the cable companies over mm. the past 10, 20 years. When cable companies would take the local broadcast stations, and, and broadcast stations, for those who don't remember, are like NBC, ABC, and CBS, <laughs> yes. uh, and retransmit that without them paying. The cable companies now often pay for that. <laughs> so, Andrew, <laughs> what's the life of television going to look like in five years? Because it seems like all, a few of my friends have already gone to zero TVs in their home, and they watch everything online. So is TV still going to be around? Well, they say that It better be, because uh, we need jobs. Right. <laughs> yes. We, um, uh, content is king, they say. Um, and um, it's going to come down to content, and all the, cable, the media companies are switching to content-based models. That's why you watch, look at NBC, ABC, and CBS. You know, decades ago, they didn't produce their own television shows, and now they do. Mm -hmm. I don't think TV is going away, but it is going to different screens, as they mm -hmm. say. What may be going away, if you ask the cable companies, and that's what they're worried about, is whether cable TV can survive. And so cable TV mm -hmm. operations are now having to pr program and provide their own content to keep you. Now, well, why can't I buy what I want to see a la carte? Why do I have to buy, you know, HBO and Showtime? Why can't I just buy the shows I want? Because you have to do what the cable companies tell you to do mm. because they want to make as much money as possible. They will argue they cannot support the service if people pay a la carte. Mm. So they stop you from paying a la carte in many cases. It depends on the cable operator. You have to okay. pick and choose. If you want HBO, you have to get the whole suite, for example, in yeah. many situations. Well, that's but why I like that has that been little, an argument for a long time. The little service you showed us earlier where you can just get the channels you want. I like that because I think cable just provides way too many channels. It's like, okay, 300 channels and still nothing is it on. <laughs> and you have to go up to like channel 15, 27 for me to find like the New York Islanders playing right. or something. Now, do yeah. these pose a real threat to the networks? Absolutely. I think, it, mm -hmm. I think this is, you know, technology disrupts, and this is what you call disruptive technology. Mm -hmm. There is a real threat here because they need to change again their business model to survive, you know. But I will say this, you know, you look at radio, they said radio was going to be it was going to be killed when TV came out, and radio mm -hmm. has survived, and I have a feeling they will adapt and change. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I want to know how much money can people save if they go without any of those services? But 
I guess they need something. And there are, are there enough free services online that you can watch your shows? You know, if you look around, there mm -hmm. are enough free services. You mm -hmm. can save between 50 and 75 percent with many of these services. Wow. But you know, the, the key obstacle here is is the technology. You have to be mm -hmm. a little bit of a technophile to yeah. get all this done. You have to piece it all together yourself and know how to do everything. And so there, that's a barrier to entry. But at some point, probably real soon, companies are going to come along and have the whole package done for you. Now, why don't they just make TVs like this as opposed to you having to buy this bit and this wire and this cable and all of those things? But that's a good question. There are just many different companies doing this and no one has yet to put it together. The rumor is that Apple will solve this with iApple and there's other companies working on this as well. Mm -hmm. When you can just go to a store, there it is, go to the store, buy it and plug it in at home, that's probably the barrier breaker when it becomes really disruptive technology. Well, the mm -hmm. thing I like most about getting my programming off of the internet is I don't have to deal with commercials. I can just skip past that. So what's going to happen with commercials if everything goes to the web? Let's well, show them there. Well, well, that's the problem because if you can't have commercials, you know, who's going to pay for mm -hmm. all of the television programming yeah. out there? It's like the newspaper model, right? Mm -hmm. Everything's online. Where are the ads coming? for that. Uh, some of the services prevent you from skipping through the commercials. Oh, you know, if you have a TiVo, for example, you go oh, boop, 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 and go right through the uh, right through the commercials. Okay. But if you order on demand, if you've tried that in many cases, it says, um, you know, skipping you fast forward, disabled. Disabled, uh, yeah, so, true. And it, and it may frustrate you, but you have to remember, you're getting it for free, you're going to have to watch it, but then there's something like HBO and the premium channels that don't have commercials. They just mm. pay, charge you a subscription service. Netflix is like that, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, I guess we'll just have to keep watching it. Whatever you do, however you get it, make sure you watch our show <laughs> because you don't want to miss this, right? <laughs> Andrew, thank you, thank you thank as you so always. Much. A great Schmertz report. We love you having. We love you being here, thank Andrew. You. Thank you so much. Always. Thank you. See you tomorrow. All right, this is Arise Entertainment 360.